How's it going? Finally got my car off the table, so I got my welding table back. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff I needed to do to this while it was level on the table and I couldn't move it, like making things for the frame because this is just in no way even close to level. It's my car, my concrete's all tweaked out. So this is kind of what I got going on. This is a 1920 Model T body that I bought from a chicken ranch. I think I paid like a hundred bucks for it just because I liked it. I thought it was cool. It's been sitting there for years, just sitting on the ground. It's been widened, I believe, ten and a half inches. It's been shortened a whole nother set of doors. It was a model, it was a model 1920 Model T T. So it was the three-door um, body. But doors are all welded shut. It looks like it was made for a mix. If you don't know what it is, look it up. Myers Manx, uh, old Volkswagen, dune buggy, the car. But how it was set up before I touched it, just bolt holes and the width and everything, it looked like it was for a little buggy. So I brought it home and decided to make a car out of it. I have a four nine inch rear end. I made the frame. I've already made the bed sides, but they're too tall. I don't like them, so I'm going to cut them up. I've done a bunch of different stuff to this car. I've been working on this car for about two years now. This was my next surgery rehab project. The grill was found in Elk Glen at an antique store. My daughter found it. It's an old tractor grill with some hand pin striping. It's hanging on the wall. It was 40 bucks. So she called me and was like, hey, I found a cool grill. You want me to get it? Hell yes. Split wishbones, old four drop axle disc brake conversion in the front this thing's going to be fully bagged as it sits right now it's that's how it's going to sit on the ground um, Chevy small block I was putting my Hemi in there but I kind of backtracked because I didn't want to cut everything up and start redoing everything so I'm putting a small block that it's all made for already been in it putting it back in along with my turbo 400 with straight cut planetary gears Cardboard templates, amazing. You can bend them, shape them, do what you need. And for the most part, once they've been bent, they kind of hold their shape, just like metal. Metal has memory. It wants to go back to how it was originally bent. Cardboard likes staying bent. Anyway, you make real easy templates for stuff. Transfer it on, flatten it out, transfer it. And not too bad. And if you're doing it with a cutoff wheel or any other way, um, not too bad. A lot easier than using metal right out the gate. So I am using my plasma because I have it. Uh, let's clean these up and figure out how we're going to make this bend. hammer is legit. Cypressville Forge. He's out of Victorville or Sperry or something. Blacksmith. He makes some good hammers. I've had this thing a couple years already now and the only damage is because me. 
but clean it up, polish it up. There's not even a mark on this thing. Curtis makes good shit. Check him out. So, what I'm working on right now is kind of plating this, give a little bit more in this corner. Kind of a fish plate, although it's got its weld right there. But this is the section where my outer four link is going to mount. So it's going to be probably right about there. Still got to do some work to the inside of these buckets, but one on each side. And then my battery trays. Um, our battery tray also goes up in here to tuck it behind the body. This is a frame upside down. Um, so I'm trying to get this stuff knocked out so I can put the rear end back in it. Uh, front's already, I think front's all done. Got my steering, front end. I think the only thing that left I need to finish is my connecting arm for the steering. There's the other side, this is my air pump tray. So go in there and then air pump bolts right in, got some rib nuts in there. Um, yeah, so hoping to get that right now because then I can mock up my uh, other link mounts and have my rear end in this thing and then I'll have a roller. Get my airbags and everything else, get my plumbing done. This is a big section of what needed to be done and then doing welding underneath because it's been sitting on the table for a year. Uh, no, Brown. No. No, 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 no. This is bad. Go. No, go. You can't. No. No. <laughs> no. Go away. Go. Got my fish plate done, both sides, sandwich it off just to try to strengthen this corner a little bit. Um, I'm going to do it again right here, but I'm going to use dimple dies. And now I put my structure in here, but this is all finished. Got to do the other side yet, but I needed to do all this before I can get my trays in and get fitment. Everything should fit. Uh, I might need to bend this one. This one was a little tight. Leaf cuts, a little bit of shrinking. I think when I welded this, it shrank it and pulled it. Having this brace in here, because it used to fit real good. So I'm assuming that's what happened. Anyway, 
Just gotta fix it, make it work. Some bitch. Put him on the wrong side. That's why I had to cut that one. Hmm. Bring in this other. Uh, I don't know. Piece more for visual than anything else just kind of creating a spot in between the cab and the frame and maybe protect my battery and pump if a drive shaft ever grenades or a u-joint or anything else this car is set up to where the drive shaft is going to be going literally right next to your ribs right next to your thigh if anything explodes it's going to be a bad day so i'm building a full scatter shield full length of the car trans rear end everything because i don't want to die if that thing breaks or at the very least lose a hip or have that thing cut my ribs yeah dangerous Well, here's the introduction to my Model T. Uh, it's not going to be something I'm going to be posting on a lot because it's kind of hit and miss when I get to work on it. Winter, weather, neck. I go hard on it for about a month, maybe less, and then I won't be able to touch it for like another month. So, hopefully I can get to it sometime soon and have a rolling chassis and be able to drive it and show you. Anyway, thanks for watching.